Yo, ladies and gentlemen, Monday Night Raw just got off the air, and quite frankly, quite frankly, chat, it might be the best Raw in the past couple of months. I know that's a bold statement, but I'm going to stand by it. Um, oh, I never put this in. Sorry about that. I forgot to put in the last few segments on Raw. Uh, all right, cool. There we go. All right. So the amazing thing about Raw, honestly, is three hours went buy like that. It also helped that the first hour was commercial free, which quite frankly, I was here for. I was here for that. So what went down? Let's talk about it. We begin at eight o'clock Eastern, five o'clock Pacific with Randy Orton coming out, cutting in a welcome home promo and that just an epic promo. Love it. Loved the promo by Randy. Good job, Randy. You still got it, bro. However, we have Rhea Ripley deciding to interrupt. And with Rhea, as always, the Judgment Day follows because Mommy has to have her ducklings. So, what does Randy do? Oh, nothing. Just RKO's J.D. McDonough and everybody else. Great. So, then what? Randy challenges Dirty Dirty Dom to a match. Dominic Mysterio to a match. Quite frankly, I'm here for it. First match of the night might be the best match of the night. Like, I'm sorry. That tag team turmoil match was awesome. Alpha Academy versus, um, I can't remember. Ah, shit, I didn't write this down. Oh, shoot. Uh, but anyway, the uh, epic match, dude, and the Creed brothers win. That's all you need to know about. The Creed brothers went and they beat up everybody. They are the now they are going to eventually face um, uh, the tag team champions for the title. So congratulations to the Creed brothers on your victory, and good luck. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. Now, right after that, we have the Judgment Day. They cut a promo that's kind of interesting. Um. Uh, oh, why do I want to call it Rhea? It's not Rhea, but it was um. Uh, the name, Mister Briefcase. Can't remember his name. Damian Priest. Thank you. Damian Priest. Um, decided. Hey, I'm gonna feel down because I I was the one that got pinned on Saturday. It's nice to see that the rest of the Judgment Day have his back. Excuse me. It's nice to see that the rest of the Judgment Day have his back. Then, right after the commercial break at Ona at 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, we have Cody Rhodes coming out. What does Cody Rhodes do? Cuts a promo and asks the crowd, well, what do you want to talk about? Like he always does. And I'm here for it. I love it. Guess what else he does? He declares Royal Rumble entry. I'm hoping that it's Cody that wins the thing. And Cody faces Roman and dethrones Roman and gets his flowers and gets his title. Let's go, Cody. Let's go. But. 
before that, before any of that can happen, we have Nakamura attacking Cody. For weeks and 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 did I mention weeks? Nakamura has been promoting, has been talking about Cody Rhodes, but nobody knew that. It was vagueness this, vagueness that. Nakamura turns out he was talking about Cody Rhodes. Nakamura then said... I'm going to bring chaos to you. I don't know what that means, but it's going to be intriguing. The next match was Bronson Reed versus Ivar. Two big men meet, slapping men meet. Sorry, two big men slapping men meet. Here for it, yes. But it ended in a double countout. Because neither man was going to give up, and they kept being thrown into the bury the barricade. Sorry, what culture? I had to take it. Uh, they kept being thrown into the barricade. So, yeah, they both got counted up. That means that feud's not over. I'm here for that, too. Ooh. Ooh, sorry. Ooh, the energy. Mm. Then we had Nia Jax cut a promo against Zoe Stark and... Um, Ah, uh, the other name, the other, uh, Shayna Baszler, right? Then we have Nia Jax versus Zoe Stark. And as we expected, Nia wins, but Zoe put up an epic battle, as Zoe should. So congratulations to Zoe Stark on putting up an epic battle against Nia, but honestly, that match was forgettable. Like, I was like, eh. Then we have... Seth Rollins cutting a promo. And um, then, so Seth Rollins was like, hey, blah, 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 talking about, you know, cutting a, cutting a promo, wanting to be a fighting champion. Which is perfectly acceptable. So, hey, I'm going to fight. I want to fight. Blah, blah, blah. Then Drew McIntyre interrupts. And according to Conman167, who's the guy I was watching with Raw because he adds descriptions to Raw that Michael Cole and the others don't. Uh, the Actually, the commentary team does not. Um, uh, he um, apparently drew... <sighs> I'm so hyped, I'm tired. Uh, Drew apparently speared or headbutted Seth Rollins and busted him wide open. That must have been a cute little visual. Now, here's the rub. Drew McIntyre says, I want the title shot. I want the title shot. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. I deserve it. You know what? Apparently, next week, it's Jey Uso who gets the title shot. Not Drew McIntyre. And oh, Nelly, he was not happy about it. Then we have Tegan Knox and Dewdrop. Oh, God. Tegan Knox and Natalia versus Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Honestly, yeah. Didn't really care for it. Congratulations. Congratulations on uh, Chelsea Green and and uh, Piper Niven winning, but I didn't care for it. No hate to them, just eh, whatever. Then we had Randy Orton versus Dom, uh, Dominic Mysterio. Dominic tried to fight. Randy walloped him. You know, kind of a squash match. An RKO, of course. But then, but then. CM Punk was out. And CM Punk perhaps cut the best promo of the night. Best promo of the night. Epic promo of the night. I loved CM Punk's promo. God damn, I keep yawning. Um, CM Punk's promo was epic, dude. Great job, CM Punk. 
great job. I'm wondering where you're going to go. Where, not like leaving, but like, what, like who, are you, who are you facing first? Anyway, good job, CM Punk. Epic match, or epic promo at least. Great way to end Raw. That was your November, what, what the fuck is today's day? Your November 27th, 2023 edition of Raw Wrap Up. I have been your host, Tyler, and thank you so much for watching. We will be doing another wrap-up during the University of Washington and University of Oregon football game. We'll be doing a wrap-up after that game is, uh, has concluded as well. So there will be no SmackDown wrap-up. Sorry about that. I have not been doing wrap-ups very much anyway, so who, so sorry about that. Uh, but it's my, home, it's my alma mater, dude. i got to support my alma mater, so it's going to be a wrap-up through my alma mater. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will... Talk to everybody later, and you all have a good night.